Hey you guys, it's Tuesday. And I forgot that it was Tuesday. That's really embarrassing to admit. It's like the first time that I <laughs> I literally did not know that today was Tuesday. So if I had pale skin, my cheeks would be a little flushed right now. I'd be looking a little red. Sorry for the late video. Aren't all my videos always late somehow? I don't know. Anyway, oh god, you can see my hair sticking out. Oh my god, that's why I'm wearing this hoodie because I look awful. I just got home. My body is sore. I've been working out because something's got to change and my body is one of those things. So like I'm really sore and I didn't want to do anything today but I had to do stuff. So I'm even more sore. For me. Anyway, sorry for the sob story. I'm going to jump into the question since I'm already late. Kira, you asked us uh, if we could donate to a charity, which one would we donate to? And for me, I have like tons of them that I would love to donate to. Uh, one being the AIDS Foundation, I would donate to that because I've actually seen how people deteriorate like firsthand from AIDS and it sucks. It, it sucks. It's not even like, that's why I don't laugh at AIDS jokes. It's not funny at all. Yeah, I'm one of those uptight people who take everything seriously, but um, that's something that I don't joke about and if I had like all the money in the world, I'd give it all away basically because it sucks. Danielle, you asked what's our favorite quote. Uh, it's by Oscar Wilde, I believe. Oh, I'd be so embarrassed if that wasn't right. But it was like, uh, be yourself because everybody else is taken. I think that's amazing. I wish I would have said that first. But I wasn't alive back then, so. Yeah, that quote is awesome. Oh my god, I'm so sorry that my hair is sticking out. It looks so bad. My hair's like literally like pissing me off. Okay, sorry. That's why I'm wearing this hoodie. You don't need to see what's underneath this thing. Like my hair is being a butthole. Elias, he asked us uh, when we're sad, what do we do that makes us feel better? I uh, listen to some really good music. That's literally the only thing that I can do is listen to really good music. Because uh, music normally has memories behind it. And if you listen to like, songs with good memories, you'll just autom well, I feel automatically better after listening to some really good music. Joey asked, uh, what's one insecurity that we now embrace? Uh, for me, it's being tall. It's something that... I hated as a kid because I was always that one tall, like bigger girl in the class. I hated it, but now it's like, oh my god! And I even wear like heeled shoes all the time, like wedges. I love like towering over people now. It's awesome. I don't know. Yeah. And my question for this week is, what's the last awkward moment that you had? Because today I had tons of them, and it was bad. The last one that I remember was um. I was sitting in the car and I had my um, headphones in, listening to my iPod, and I like jam out. I don't care who's watching, but I do because I love the music. And I look to the right, and you know when you look at somebody who was looking at you, they turn away really fast? That was so awkward. And it was just, their gas pump was right next to mine, and it was just like, I kept jamming, but that was so awkward. Okay, that was my awkward moment for the day. I don't wish to relive that. Okay, I'll see you guys next week. And I'll actually be on time this time. Yeah. Random information that you probably don't care about. This is the best candy ever. Hands down.